your teacher has probably asked you to submit some homework that is on paper and you've got to get it from paper into Google Classroom. Hi, I am Carol, Tech Trainer for Washington County Schools, and I'm going to show you how to submit handwritten homework to your Google Classroom assignment with a Chromebook. And let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is let's go find a couple apps that we're going to use today. So go to your app launcher, which is in the lower left corner of your Chromebook. Hit the up arrow that pops up. This takes you to the different apps. And I want you to look for and right click on camera. Now don't click on it, but we're going to right click. Now, if you're not familiar, the way you right click on a Chromebook is you two finger tap the trackpad. So two finger tap on the camera app and then one finger tap to on pen to shelf. That is going to put it down here at the bottom, which will make it easier to use the next time we use it. So the other um, app I want to pin is called Files. Go find Files. It's blue in a circle. And we want a two finger tap or right click Files. And then one finger tap pin to shelf. So now we have two apps forever down at the bottom, which is going to make this much easier to use the next time we want to do it. So we're going to go ahead and just open up the camera app. There it is. So if you want to uh, expand it, you can hit the middle of the three buttons in the upper right corner. That will make it bigger. And then you want to get your written work. Now, notice on the right here, before we get into it, this is going to be the take a picture button. We're going to use it in a minute. And then you can make a video. And then there's a photo and a square. Square might be kind of good for your homework. Uh, the photo is rectangular, so you can either hold your you know, homework sideways in the rectangle shape, or you can do the square shape and hold it vertical. Okay, so I'm going to choose square, and I'm going to hold it vertical. But <clears throat> one thing I want you to make sure of is sometimes it might be reversed. So look in the screen, and there is a button for that, and it's over here on the left. It's the upper one of these left ones. And this will flip it, watch. So yours may pop up backwards, and you might have to flip it to make it readable, okay? So don't send it to your teacher backwards. You won't like that. So, um, so I'm just going to hold it up. Now, um, it's going to be a little hard to hold this up and go hit that little circle on the side to take a picture. A cool tip is you can use your space bar. You can even just hit it with your elbow while you're holding your picture up. So I'm going to hold my picture up the best I can. Um, you know, your fingers are going to be in it. It's a given. Can't be helped. So kind of get it straight. Get it in there the best you can. Another tip, make sure you have good lighting. I'm sitting near a window. You may not be able to do that, if, especially if it's nighttime. But if it's daytime and, you know, unplug your Chromebook, bring it over to a light source. You know, a window if you have it, some lights. Go into the brightest room if you have to go in your bathroom, wherever the bright lights are. <laughs> Turn some lights on. Um, if you shine a light directly on it, it could um, maybe check to see that it's, you can actually get it too bright. So it might have a glare. So, you know, some soft lights and some um, just room lights are usually pretty good. So um, I'm going to go forward with this. So I think I've got it going the right direction. I'm going to hold it up the best I can, and then I'm going to hit my space bar and take the picture. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now that you have your photo, go to the circle in the bottom left corner. This is the thumbnail of your photo. And when you click on this, it's going to open an additional app. It's called the gallery um, app, and it will show you your photo. And it also has a little photo editing if you want to do a little of that. So let me show you. Now, if you're in a hurry, you could, um, just move on. But let me show you a few things that I would do if you have a few minutes to spend on your picture. So um, in this app, there's a little series of buttons in the upper right corner. And go to the pencil. That's the edit app. And some editing you could do. If you took your photo sideways, like I said that you could, um, you might need to rotate it. And so there's these little circles down here to rotate it if you need to rotate it from the horizontal position. Um, if you want to cut out um, this extra stuff, you don't have to, but if you want to be fussy about it, it's fun and easy to do. There is uh, another row of buttons underneath. These are um, the editing tools. So the second one is called Crop. 
So click on crop and what you can do with this, now this is a bad crop. So I'm gonna um, expand using these circles and click and drag technique, or I'm on my trackpad, I'm just like doing a click and uh, rub type kick technique to um, cut out the extra stuff, okay? And I, if you get, once you get it where you like it, then hit crop again, and that will cut it down. It's like taking scissors to it. Now, again, if you have the time and energy, I would do a little brightness. So it's a little grayish. So a little trick you can do is go to the little sunshine here in the middle called brightness. And this one's in the middle and this one's in the middle. If you pull each one just a little bit to the right, so take this brightness to the right and that will, it's like you turned the lights up. This is especially good if you did have a dark room. Now, if you go too far, it's bad. So I like to go just a little right of center. So right in here is good. Now contrast, a little bit to the right on contrast, usually what that one does is it makes the darks darker and the lights lighter, unless you go too far. So again, just a little right of center would be a good um, setting. And so this really brightens it up so your teacher can read it better, especially if you use pencil. Um, it may be a little hard to read. This might help. And when you're all done with the editing tools, there's a done button over here in the bottom right corner. Click the done. And again, if you're all done editing and doing all your um, changes, there's one more exit and that exits you out of the whole edit mode where we went in right there. The last thing I would do is change its name. Look at the name in the upper left corner. If you don't see the name, just wiggle your mouse. It'll pop up in the upper left corner. So it always gives it this generic looking name. And that may be hard once you have several uh, in the future. You'll have lots of these and they all will kind of look alike. I like to give it a cool name. So I'm going to call it Monday's Math Homework. Okay. And it's done. So now all I can, all I have to do is close this and this is actually saved on the Chromebook. I'm also done with this camera app. So I'm going to close that one too. Hit the X in the corner of both of those apps. And that brings us back to here. Now we're ready to upload this into our Google classroom assignment. So let's open up Chrome. The way I go to, um, I don't need this anymore. The way I go to Google Classroom is from, um, I have it on my bookmark bar. If you don't have it on your bookmark bar, you can use your email. So you could go to Washington County's homepage. You could click on email. And every time you're in your email, you have an app button in the upper right corner. It kind of looks like a waffle. It's this guy right here. So click on that apps, Google apps button, and then go find Google classroom. And I'm going to go open my class. So my teacher made an assignment and it's in classwork. And this doesn't match the photo I took, but we'll pretend like it does. So I'm going to view the assignment. And it says, draw on paper the stages of a caterpillar's metamorphosis and upload it here. So this is a drawing. So it's really hard to upload. You know, I'm teaching you how to upload a photo of what you did. So it could be anything. It could be a drawing. It could be your math. It could be anything. So, oh, I forgot to, let me get rid of the one where I was practicing. Let me take that out. So what we're going to do is, okay is you're going to go over in your assignment to add or create. We're going to add an assignment there. You kind of saw mine over there a second ago. I, I was taking it out um, and you can take it out if you need to, but we're going to add. And since we made this on the Chromebook, it's considered a file. So go down three to the file option. And it's going to drop you in recent, but you're not going to see it here. And the reason is because this is Google Drive. It's looking for it in Google Drive. We haven't put it in Google Drive yet. We can, but we haven't done that step yet. So what you want to do is go to upload right here, and this will look on your device. 
There's one more button and it's the brows. There's only one button, so you'll hit the right one. So now it is showing me recent files. And so here's the Monday's math homework. If you didn't see it right here, you could go to images over here on the left and that would also show you. So there's um, images and that would show it to you. And you could probably do recent because you just did it. That would also show you anything you did in date order. So I did some the other day called Friday's homework. And so now I've got Monday's homework. So I'm gonna choose the one I just did and then go to the bottom and click the open. Give it a minute to think. <laughs> now your last step is to hit the turn in button. If you don't hit that, it doesn't go to your teacher. <clears throat> so click the turn in and this is like a confirmation. So just hit it again and that sends it to your teacher. So you're done. However, don't leave me just yet. I wanna show you a couple little things um, that you might want to, to know. So you're done with your assignment. So your teacher now has it, they can grade it. So what I wanted to show you is these apps. So the next time you need to upload a photo, you can go, you, since you pinned it to the shelf, your camera is always right here. Now the reason I had, and so I can pop it up. So I can pop it up, take the picture, Come down here, edit the picture if you want to, give it a better name, I would do that at least. And then you could um, upload it right here into your assignment, okay? But I wanna show you why I had you pin the other um, button. The other button is the files button. This shows you the files that are on this device, on this Chromebook. It's basically on your account of Chromebook. And so um, if I go to images, here are my images that I took. Um, and then notice Google Drive is down here in the lower, on the lower side. If you have gotten into folders, um, you can make folders in Google Drive. This is your cloud storage. Google Drive is your cloud storage. It's where all your files go when you make them in a Google app. But you can also put files into Google Drive. So let's say I want my Monday's math homework to go into my Google Drive. So remember, I clicked this little um, arrow. It was pointing right, and when I click it, it points down because it opens up. There is my Google Drive. If you have folders, you would hit that right arrow and open up into your folders, but I'm just gonna close it back down. Now, if I wanna take my Monday's Math homework and put it into Google Drive, I can click it and do a click and drag technique and drop it onto Google Drive. Now, when I go into Google Drive, that file will be there. So let me show you an example. So I'm gonna open a tab. I'm gonna open my Google Drive. You could also open this from the waffle button, this waffle button here. And it'll probably show up, there it is. It'll show up in recent. So I put it into my Google Drive. I kind of pulled it off the Chromebook and put it into Google Drive. You don't have to do that step, but you could if you wanted to. You could if you want to keep it for a long time, um, or uh, maybe there's some other reason you want to keep it, um, you might want to keep things organized and put all your homework into Google Drive, okay? So if you wanted to keep things organized, you could make a folder for that. I could say new folder, call it homework, And then there's my folder. I could pick this up, click and drag, drop it on homework. A little fun fact you can do. Okay, it's being grumpy. I'm gonna take it from down here, Monday's math homework. There we go. And that, and it's in there twice. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it in there and now it'll be in this folder. Now, a cool, fun little thing you can do with folders. So I'm gonna hit the back button and I'm in my drive. If you right click on homework, you can change the color of the folder. So let's say I wanna make it orange. Now it's an orange folder. 
and I can put all my homework. You don't have to do any of those steps. That's just bonus material I thought you might want to know. All right. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you soon.